Right, so here is a 150 watt DC DC boost converter. It can take 10 to 32 volts in and output 12 to 35 volts up to 6 amp out. And uh, it can do 100 watt SS and uh, 150 watts with enhanced cooling, i.e., you put a fan on it. Um, it's a very well performing unit. I have tried it with a 100 watt load. And it does run warm, but it doesn't run hot, so that's all fine. It lives up to its specifications. Um, at 100 watt, I got the uh, inductor measured up to about 83-85 degrees centigrade. And it's specified to do uh, plus 85 degrees, so that's within spec. Um, the switching transistor heatsink, which is this one, does get warmer than the uh, rectifier diode heatsink. But that's kind of expected, really. Um, overall, well, it's a pretty good construction, but the mechanical details are not the best. Um, for example, you got countersunk screws for the uh, insulators on the uh, devices here. It's not great, and the inductor isn't the best quality. Uh, but the inductor works well, and the uh, in insulators are not cracked or anything. Seem to be made of quite a soft, possibly nylon. So that's all fine. Um, basically no-name filter caps, but that's expected. Uh, get a missing LED up here, behind the uh, terminal block. That's for a... Uh, input power indicator and also got a position for a selector switch here which I'm not sure what that is for um, I haven't looked into that uh, I got a 10 turn pot here for the uh, uh, voltage adjustment for the output so that's all very nice uh, on the back side of the board we have some funky looking uh, folded traces they are presumably for uh, current shunt for the, uh, the overcurrent protection or they might just be uh, current limiting resistors basically to uh, suppress big spikes and such I'm not quite sure about that but one of the two but overall it's a very good very good converter for not even six dollars so yeah it's not a bad unit, really. Thanks for watching.